Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda Tallahassee and I'm a 17 year old makeup artist. I just want to say real quick, if you hear any weird noises, it just rained. And like there's still rain in like the trees, so it's hitting the house, making weird noises. I have dogs as well, so they bark. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Today, I am giving you guys a first impression slash review on the e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Putty Primer. I'm very late to the game on this, as I usually am with everything, just because I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> I know it's only $8, but typically I just get and stick to what I know and what I trust. But today, I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Because... I mean, I don't have anything else to do. This perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and preps it with Saculane to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear. The velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. Directions. Apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying makeup. Great. Work. First and foremost, I'm going to moisturize with a clean and clear dual action moisturizer. This is a oil control moisturizer and I really, really love it. Ooh, girl, I am glowing. Okay, now I'm going to use the primer. You can see where I touched it. It's very, you know what? Let's dig in and let's see what happens. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, okay, it's going away. I was like, oh no. I'm swiping up to like really get this product into my pores. So first impressions, my skin looks very, looks and feels very moisturized. I'm not quite like, I guess I can feel a little bit of like the velvety feel but, um, I don't know. My pores do look smaller. They look smaller, but I can still see them. I'm not quite sure if that, like, you can just see them, but then when you put makeup over, over it, it's going to disappear. But they look smaller. And like I said, I feel very moisturized. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply my makeup as usual and see how it holds up first starting off with an orange color corrector and I'm just going slightly under my eyes um I'm just going to slightly blend this out I'm going to go in with the Ally girl green color corrector and I'm going in with this right over the red This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Alabaster. I really like this foundation. It's a really good foundation. Okay. Um, first of all, this sponge is really cold. Oh my god, I should have used hotter water. It looks smooth. Can you guys see that? It, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm noticing is my skin looks really smooth. Like, really smooth. I'll zoom you guys in in a second, but it looks really smooth. Oh my god. Literally, like, a week ago, this foundation was my perfect match. I done fucked up. I was like, sis, I'm gonna get me a new foundation once I get a tan. I, it came sooner than I thought. So as I'm blending it, I'm just really noticing how nice my skin looks. Honestly, better than it has in a, in a while. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 hour camo concealer. 
if you guys follow me you guys know i absolutely love this concealer it is a very matte drying down concealer and i'm a very oily person so it's just perfect for me What did you do? Suck dick on accident. How the fuck you suck dick on accident? What I'm gonna do before I highlight is I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics like, it's like this e.l.f. Cosmetics Coconut and Argan Oil Dewy Face Mist. Um, I just put this on my sponge and I tap it in. Alright guys, so I finished my makeup off camera, um, basically anything that didn't have to do with base. Everything looks so, so good. Well, for the moment, I don't know what it's gonna look like, um, later on. But yeah, now I'm going to keep this makeup on for a couple hours, and I'm going to update you guys every hour or so, and we're gonna see how, how it lasts. It's been about two hours since I've applied the primer, the foundation, and just everything on my base. But so far, so good. There's a little bit of creasing on my forehead, but it's not actually nothing like it usually is. Also, I'm just someone who likes to move their forehead a lot, so that's kind of normal. But, like, just really... Like, everything seems... Let me look in the mirror real quick. But, like, everything's smooth. Everything's just good. Okay, guys. I think this is when I'm gonna call it. It's, like, 6.30. So, I've had this foundation and primer and everything on my face for about four hours. My face looks great. It looks great. I've only touched up once and yeah, I actually really, I really like the way I look and like, yeah, there's like a little bit of creasing here and there, but like nothing compared to what it's usually like, especially after four hours. It's 630 in the morning, like I said, so like I'm very tired. I really recommend this primer based on this one time use um i don't know maybe i'll do an updated review after i've had it like after i've used it for a couple months but i'm gonna go take this off and go to bed alrighty guys that is all for today i am glad to be back and hopefully back for good um yeah obviously this is filmed pre-updates but, but please tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends if you would like. And I will see you guys in the next video.